right. This gentleman here asked me, what was the show you used to have on Saturday nights? What was it called? It was called the Dick Clark Show. That's one. <laughs> Very hard to remember. Let me ask you, let me ask only the boys, because obviously you wouldn't ask this question to girls. If you were a musician and, a, and an entertainer, would you shave your head? Depends how badly I wanted the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good answer. Would you? It's a good gag. It works. We're for the Beatles. Well, it worked in the opposite bit for the Beatles. How about you? Would you shave your head? Yeah, I guess so. I would. You would? Oh, boy. How about you? I doubt it. I don't want to look like Yul Brenner. <laughs> well, you haven't seen these fellows yet. Some of you have. But it's an interesting thing. They make great music, and they, in, I guess, protest or something, will find out, uh, are the direct contrast to the Beatles. These are the fellows who recorded a thing called Penetration. Ladies and gentlemen, let's greet the Pyramids. <laughs> oh, that's the wildest. Why don't you come and join us? Bring your sticks. Otherwise, we'll lose you back there. May I find out your names, please, down the line? Just the first name will do. Tom. Tom. Willie. Willie. Skip. Excuse me, Skip. Ron. Wait a minute, you got to get a close shot of Ron. He's, not a, he's lost it on top, and he's growing it on the bottom. What's, what's going on here? Well, I felt uh, guilty because I didn't have any up here, <laughs> so I had to have some down here. You're going to grow a full beard? Yeah, I hope so. This is going to be a funny scene. Now, let, let me see. Now, your name again, sir? Skip. Skip, yeah. right? Steve. Steve, now let me ask you questions I am sure 9,000 people have asked you already. It's neat, obviously, and, and you don't have to worry about uh, anything, with dandruff and all of that. What happened when you first went home with your head like that? Oh, my mother fell apart. She just, <laughs> she, she wouldn't believe it. Didn't she, it remind her of when you came into the world? Did you have hair when you were a baby? She never said anything about that, no? Do you find it, it, it uh, it's tidy? Oh, quite. Is it chilly? <laughs> yes. I would imagine, well, of course, it's nice here in California, but back east, you'd be in trouble. How do you keep it like that? Do you have to shave regularly? Oh, well, every so Friday week. <laughs> do, let, me, let me ask you an embarrassing question. Do you shave a lot here? Do you have a heavy beard? Oh, I think so. How, how often do you shave your beard? Uh, every other day or so, and I head every the three days. <laughs> This has got to be the funniest scene ever. What, what happened along the line? Did you have any funny experiences? What do you do when you walk down the street? You walk down the street like yeah, that? We, oh, one day we went into a restaurant, and we walked in one at a time. And when I walked, I walked in first, and <laughs> people kind of smiled, and then two, and then three, and then four, and the whole restaurant was going crazy. They couldn't believe it. <laughs> Five guys eating with bald heads. You know. I, I noticed when you came in, you wore a cap. Do you wear that regularly? Uh, just when it's cold, mainly. <laughs> Did you ever think of wearing wigs uh, to conceal your identity and that sort of thing? Yeah, we will. In about a couple of weeks, we're going to get wigs. Custom-made head hair pieces, huh? This is funny. All right. We'll drop the bald-headed thing for the moment. How did all of this start? Where'd you first all run into one another? Oh, at Poly High School in Long Beach. 
Did you all, uh, did, were you working there? Uh, no, we went to school. No, I mean, you went to school, but did you, did you work and play at the same time? Oh, um, yes, sports. Sports yeah. and so forth? Yeah, we all played and went to school, and, and mm. we played for the canteens around our neighborhood until we made the record, and then we, everything started to happen for us. It's been kind of busy. When did you decide to make this move? I got to go back to it. When did you do this? Oh, it was about a month ago. You know, our manager says, I got a great idea. You know, if you cut your heads, it'd be great. Cut he your did. heads off, sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. What, what does the future hold for the pyramids? What do you hope to do eventually? Uh, we're doing a movie. Are you really? Yes, we're doing a movie with Frank Avalon and Annette. Well, this is one of the sequels to the beach party routine. Yeah, this will yeah. be Bikini yeah. Beach, probably. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, there's an autograph table over there. It was built for one or two people. If you can just lay your instruments aside, we'd love to join you there, okay? Thank you very much. Nice to have you here with us. The Pyramids, ladies and gentlemen, with the penetration. We'll be back right after this message. <laughs>